I want you to think about that one. You come into the church, and that's a wonderful thing. You, you, you got things right, but you're doing it, and you're just not happy. It's not a heart thing. It's a, it's a habit thing. you got to do it. I, I, what will people think of me if I don't do it? That's wrong. you got to do it from the heart. It's got to be a heart thing. Okay, and the scripture is Colossians 3 and 23. This is in the Passion. Put your heart and soul into every activity you do as though you're doing it for the Lord himself and not merely for others. And I'm not just speaking of just coming to church. I'm speaking of your daily life, uh, your work, your, you know, anything you're doing in your daily life. That's, that's what it's about. Um, okay. What about your attitude? How many of y'all, how many of us have ever needed to repent for having a bad attitude? I got both hands up, and if you saw me, I have ten toes up. I have two feet up because there's been plenty of times the Holy Spirit said, you got a bad attitude. And I said, I know it. <laughs> you know, that's the first step in helping us getting help is admitting. You know, a lot of people won't admit they got a bad attitude. But the thing about it is everybody knows when we got a bad attitude because we start talking wrong and we start, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So we need to repent about that. Um, maybe you got a bad attitude about flowing with authority properly. Maybe, maybe on your job, your boss asks you to do something and you just got a, a, a attitude, a bad attitude about it. Um, you know, do you have a bad attitude about your job, uh, about your coworkers? Make adjustments. Amen. 